over there. Look who's uh -oh. on the ringside. And it looks like he's got a cookie out there. He's throwing those uh, Oreo cookies around. And Savannah Jack keeping a close eye on Iceman King Parsons, and very rightfully so. You know, he got enough outside distraction with Missy Hyde being on the scene. And now the Iceman out there, as we get back to the action in the ring, where Betty Gilbert had gone for a body slam and scooped him. Savannah Jack now fighting back, getting back on the offensive. Savannah Jack with that right hand, and Gilbert goes through the ropes and to the floor. Savannah Jack now inviting the Iceman. And come on in now, Ice. You've been jacking your jaw out there with your Oreo cookies. Why don't you step on in now while the man's facing you? We're just or is that out. just a little too hot for We're you? Just From the historic Cowtown Coliseum, next to Billy Bob's, Texas, in the heart of the Fort Worth Stockyards, it's Power Pro Wrestling. 60 minutes of the wildest action in professional wrestling, featuring the stars of the Universal Wrestling Federation. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to Power Pro Wrestling. You've just seen exciting footage of last week's encounter between Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert and Savannah Jack for the television title. Hello again, everyone. I'm Jim Ross. Thank you very much for being with us here from the historic Cowtown Coliseum next to Billy Bob's Texas. We've got a great hour of Power Pro Wrestling, and I'll be joined later in the hour by the very talented Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert and the very beautiful Missy Hyatt. They will be providing some color commentary a little bit later in this hour of Power Pro Wrestling. We're also going to see a very special interview involving Michael Hayes and the fabulous Freebirds. We'll see Buddy Jack Roberts of the Freebird family take on Chavo Guerrero. We're also going to see Iceman King Parsons and the Universal Heavyweight Championship will be on the line in the hour when gentleman Chris Adams challenges the 500-pound one-man gang. It's going to be a super hour. We're talking about some live events coming your way as this hour progresses. Again, thanks for being with us, and now let's go to the ring. This event has a 10-minute time limit. It's scheduled for one fall. Introducing, on my left, wrestling from the red corner tonight, weighing in at 247 pounds from Houston, Texas, Gary Young. His tag team partner for this event, 265 pounds from Kansas City, Jeff Gaylord. We've heard the introductions of Gary Young and Jeff Gaylord. An excellent young team. And as the music cranks in the background, it will bring to the ring one of the finest tag team combinations in our land today. And I'm speaking of Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert and Sting as they come to the ring led by Missy Hyatt. And I'll be joined by that lovely young lady dressed in her denim and Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert a little bit later in the hour as they will be providing some color commentary. Their opponents for this tag team matchup, Missy Hyatt presents, weighing in at 229 pounds, called Every Girl's Dream, Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert. His tag team partner for this event, Every Man's Nightmare at 260 pounds, Sting. One fall with a 10 minute time limit. Eddie Gilbert gets his good luck kiss from Missy Hyatt as Hot Stuff. A former professional wrestling rookie of the year. And as many of the fans know, son of referee Tommy Gilbert here in the Universal Wrestling Federation. Tommy, an outstanding official and at one time a very outstanding professional wrestler. So Eddie comes from good stock. Hot stuff, Eddie Gilbert with a little leapfrog move and Gary Young with a hip toss and an arm drag. And Eddie Gilbert is still in bad territory as he backs his way out of the corner, being occupied by Big Jeff Gaylord as the native Houstonian Gary Young weighing in at 247 pounds. There's a great shot of Sting. And Sting will be 
competing on the big event. In Los Angeles coming up very soon. I know he's excited about that at the historic Olympic Auditorium on March the 27th. Nice reversal by Gary Young, and once again, Young beats Eddie Gilbert to the punch, the side headlock, and taking him over. And Gary Young thus far is dominating Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert. Iceman King Parsons in action in the hour. What a turnaround he has made. As I mentioned, we'll hear from the Freebirds later in the hour. We'll see Chavo Guerrero and Freebird Buddy Roberts in action. Wild Bill Irwin and Eli, the awesome team of Devastation Incorporated and the Universal Heavyweight Championship. All that yet to come in this hour, Power Pro. Gary Young with a scoop power slam and Young went to the elbow, went to give the elbow and Eddie Gilbert moved out of the way. Now there was a tag made. Sting comes in, hammering away Another one of the fine conditioned athletes that you will find in the Universal Wrestling Federation where the action is intense and the competition is as physical as you will ever see in the squared circle. Eddie Gilbert now back on the attack. Steen come in, came in with a couple of hammers. And Gilbert now went back to the offense. It backfired. The tag has been made. Here comes Jeff Gaylord, and Gaylord now attempting to take over Sting. Now, Gaylord, former All-American, University of Missouri, a great young lion in pro wrestling. Gaylord with a well-placed kick to the midsection of Sting. And now Gaylord hammering away. The former USL Football Rookie of the Year. And Sting with a kick to the chest. Gaylord showing some what is it inexperience there and Sting showing that he has learned extremely well from his master. And I'm speaking of hot stuff Eddie Gilbert who has done a tremendous job in molding the careers of Rick Steiner and Sting. Eddie Gilbert with his hot shot. Eddie Gilbert with a move that only he executes. It's a hot shot and it's a victory. Hot stuff Eddie Gilbert and Missy Hyatt will be joining me momentarily. And Sting and Gilbert victorious here on Power Pro Wrestling. Behold the beer belly. 50 million Americans need a shortcut to get from fat to flat. Introducing the Gut Buster. It's the ultimate fitness machine specifically designed to firm and flatten the stomach as nothing else can. And ladies, if you're as serious as he is, that flat stomach you had in high school can be yours again. Basic spring-ups like these work the upper abdominal region. Reverse for tension-assisted high-risers. This sturdy unit travels easily so you can exercise anywhere. And it's yours with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So go ahead. Head gut busters. If you're serious about a flat stomach, exercise your right to call toll free now. To order, call 1 800 453 3599. That's 1 800 453 3599. Use your credit card to avoid COD charges or send check or money order for $19.95 plus $3 shipping and handling to The Gut Buster, Box 60, Department E, Los Angeles, California. That toll free number again is 1 800 453 3599. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Power Pro Wrestling. Jim Ross back with you, and I've been joined by Hot Step Eddie Gilbert and Missy Hyatt. Congratulations on the victory, and thanks for dropping by here, Eddie and Missy. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> Not necessary. We knew all the time we was going to win, Jim. We're just happy, and what an honor it is for you and all these people to have us here on Power Pro Wrestling to help you do the commentary. You know what, Eddie? Listen, let me just let me get right here. <laughs> you know of what? Of course. You deserve to be in the you, spotlight. You know what? Since I've been with you, you have just brought me so many wonderful things, and this is just one of it. This is, this is it. I mean, I should have been here a long time ago helping you out, Jim. <laughs> well, I'm sure that I can use the help, no doubt about it. Uh, and we will be hearing your commentary. Uh, are you going to stay out, Ed? Uh, no, I think, you know,
know what? He is oh, so sweaty and everything. Sweaty. You know what, baby? I think too. you really need to go take a shower because I love it when you when you shower and put that Giorgio on. Okay, Ooh, okay. I'll tell you what, Jim. I'm gonna go shower. I'll come back a little bit later. That'll be okay. fine. Oh, Thanks. Come on. Give me sugar. sugar. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, ladies, this is gonna be a very unique experience, ladies and gentlemen. I can promise you. And. The oh, nice gosh, this is going to be great. I mean, for us to be up here, and you were so, you know, I love your commentating, Jim. Well, thank you very much. You know, uh, I've always admired you. I'm losing my train of thought, ladies and gentlemen, so we better play the videotape that we have scheduled. Iceman King Parsons made some comments last week that startled the wrestling world. Let's replay that interview that the Iceman had last week here on Power Pro Wrestling with Bruce Pritchard, and then Missy and I will rejoin you with some commentary. Hey, man, I don't know what the deal is. I don't know. You know, I talked to them. I tried to get them to come out here. They fine athletes, you understand. They fine athletes. But I tried to get them to come out here. I wanted to clear the air. I wanted to clear the air. But I got something for them here, and I wanted to come out here and present it to them. But they won't come out, so I'm going to present it to you, all right? Uh, th that, that's fine with me. You have a present for? Uh... Yes, for Chris and my brother. Savannah Jack. Okay, yeah. this is for Chris. See? Yeah. This is him. This is him. Yeah, this is it. This is Chris Adam, my buddy. I took care of him when he was in there. I sent him money. I called him five times a week, and he let me down. See that? You see those three zeros? Nothing from nothing leaves nothing. <laughs> now my brother, my brother, God bless his soul. Yes, this is it. Yes, yes. An Oreo for an Oreo. See that? Check it out. I want y'all to see this. This is what he all about. See there? Black is me on the outside, but look at this on the inside. Now that's a shame. Huh? That's a shame. If his mama was here, I'd slap her for not teaching him no better. Like mama says, ha, it bees that way sometime. Have mercy. This event is scheduled for one fall. It has a 10-minute time limit. Introducing first, on my left, from Vicksburg, Mississippi, weighing in at 225 pounds, Ken Massey. Ken Massey being introduced by Doyle King and Missy Hyatt and Jim Ross here at the Cowtown Coliseum. Well, and Missy, uh, it looks like the Iceman will be making his way. And what do you have? Do you have any comments about Iceman King Parsons? What's your thoughts on that uh, gentleman? Well, you know, I know Eddie Gilbert, you know, he's been talking to him lately, but what I can't understand is we don't really need any help at the house or anything, so I don't know why Eddie's been talking to him. I mean, I guess when Eddie gets back, he can, you know, you know, talk to us about that. Eddie really handles all that kind of stuff. You don't think you have a place on your staff for the Iceman, huh? Well, yeah, we already have a chauffeur and a handyman, and, and we have enough mains, so I really he'd want the ice man well well Eddie, Eddie does a lot of things that I don't understand but I trust him ice man King Parsons is he's someone, got a pretty robe I don't know if we want to and trust him or not opponent, he's didn't. called the ice man weighing at 238 pounds from St. Louis Missouri King Parsons you know that is a pretty robe but do you like my dress? I wish the people all at home could see my dress. You know, my friend Mitzi Simmons, she goes shopping for me. And she finds just the greatest things here in Dallas for me. I mean, you know, being at the Cowtown, this little denim and leather outfit. Do you like it, Jim? Oh, it's, it's very nice, Missy, I'll tell you that. It's, uh, it's certainly uh, something to behold. You know, it's really a shame that the people at home couldn't see us, because I know all the guys, I'm sure all those cards and letters, you know, of wanting me up here really helped. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Missy Hyde is definitely here, and the Iceman is definitely in the ring as Ken Massey Ooh. with a flying press. Uh, and the Iceman with a high knee Ooh. right to the chest. What was that? What? what was that called? That was neat. I bet Eddie could do better, though. Iceman with that Ooh. modified clothesline, and the Iceman in his 
sparkling ring attire, and he is in the punishing mood, Missy, apparently, because I think he could have had the pin right there. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes it's fun to play around. I like to play around. Eddie does, too. <laughs> Iceman with that clothesline. Sting does something like that, too, doesn't he? He certainly does. It's very devastating as well, but Iceman King Parsons showing that streak. And I tell you, Savannah Jack has definitely got a score to settle with the Iceman. Oh, Savannah Jack, give me a break. Face first. And to the mat is Ken Massey, and the Iceman has dismantled the young man from Vicksburg, Mississippi. Oh, gosh, that was easy. Do they have any gyms in Vicksburg, Mississippi? I couldn't have missed you. I'm sure that they have. And ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back with more Power Pro Wrestling. Missy and I will be back with a special... Missy Hyatt. Missy Hyatt will be back with a special Freebird interview after this timeout. Look fast, because the hands on this watch are about to disappear. Now, look again, and they're back. Why do these hands disappear? Because they're not really hands at all. They're actually electronic pulses of light. Introducing the amazing laser beam wristwatch. Destined to become a legend in its own time, we believe it will soon be one of the most sought after watches in history. However, as part of a special publicity campaign, we will send you one of these amazing new laser beam luxury watches. Not for the hundreds of dollars you might expect, but for only $10. But to get your amazing laser beam wristwatch for only $10, you must act now. If you call within the next 30 minutes, you can order a second laser beam watch for only $5, just half price. To order, call 1-800-468-2600. That's 1-800-468-2600. Coming up later on in the hour, ladies and gentlemen, one half of the Universal Wrestling Federation Tag Team Champions. Gentlemen, Chris Adams, you have your big chance. You're going after the one-man gang and the UWF heavyweight title. And you always have to remember, Skandor Akbar. Bruce, I feel great. Right now, I feel like a new man. You know, I've told you people time and time again now that what happened to me taught me a lesson in life. But I feel good. It has taught me a lesson. I hope it's taught you people a lesson and made an example out of me for you. Now, this is my big chance. And you know what? I'm just wondering, Bruce, maybe you can answer this too, Terry. I'm going up against one man gang. Now, I know he's a big man and he's tough. And if he lands it on me, I'm finished. So I know I've got to keep out the way, which I will do. But if I win that belt, which I'm going to try my hardest. Can I still keep this? Can I still keep these battles? Will we still be yeah. tag team? If champions? I can answer that, I've been here a long time. Chris is maybe a little bit out of the flow. You only have to defend one title every 30 days. So all you have to do really is defend this, our tag titles, right. once a month. And if you win the Universal, you can have you can you can have the singles title and the tag team title. One person can do that. So I'm just, I'm just telling you, if you don't mind, I'm going to be in your corner to make sure that everything stays right down the straight and narrow because I know that you can beat the one-man gang if Akbar is eliminated. Well, that's good because I'm looking forward to fighting the one-man gang with all my heart. You know, like I told you people before, it's like an animal locked in a cage for three months and then suddenly let loose saying, you're free, you're free. Well, I'm going to go for it. One-man gang, you watch out. You people, you watch me. And Terry Taylor and I, we aim to keep the belts. As long as I know that we can have both belts, that's good, because I feel good, Terry, and I'm really proud to have you as my partner. Well, thank you. You're going to be an awful busy, busy man, because I'm just putting my money on this man right here, because I'm on the other, in the corner watching him all the time. I'm putting my money on Chris Adams as the new UWF champion. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Cowtown Coliseum at Power Pro Wrestling. Jim Ross along with Missy Hyatt. And we await the arrival of Eddie Gilbert. He'll be back with us as this hour progresses. But, Missy, we're going to see and hear an interview that Michael Hayes has made with the Freebird family. And it centers around this penalty box situation 
involving Chavo Guerrero, The Missing Link, and more specifically, Sunshine and Dark Journey. <laughs> penalty box. <laughs> well, you know, I don't understand this penalty box thing. It's kind of funny. I think when, I think, I wish both of those ladies or, or monkeys or whatever you want to call them, I hope they both get in the cage because I think it'd be funny. They could kill each other for all I care, you know, because they're both jealous of me anyway. <laughs> that could easily happen as far as them both being in the cage at the same time. But right now, we're going to hear some comments from Michael Hayes. Then we're going to show Michael Hayes in action against Sam Houston. Let's go now to the comments from the Freebirds. You know, I tried to explain to Bill Watts a couple of weeks ago exactly how to take care and rectify a situation. But of course, with all that air and that big fat head of his, he got the idea screwed up. Now, here we are. Last week, I'm out wrestling Sam Houston. Great upcoming kid. Big deal. He's going the wrong place. He wants to make a name for himself in the UWF by trying to go over PS. And I had to punk down. I had him beat. And what happens? Here comes Dark Journey and the Missing Link interfering again. As usual. As usual. Now, it's going to be a tag match, right? Chavo and the Link. <laughs> and us, me and my brother Buddy. Don't worry. The penalty box. Now you think the last time you seen that cage, girl, she put you in there like you belong and dragged you around in it. Well, this time I want to see her bleed. But before that even happens, fixing to come up right now, Buddy's going to take on Chavo, so get rid of him real quick. Hey, I'll get rid of Taco Face in quick fashion. Mm -hmm. Okay, but now, if he's gone, I don't care if you get another partner or whether nobody else has got the guts. One way or another, this is what I want to see, and you better deliver it. I want to see her bleed. Bleed? There's no problem, Michael. Last time I threw her in, this time I'm going to throw her in, lock the door, shake her around a little bit, run her face against the bars, because a dog belongs in a cage, like at the pound, Dark Journey. And that's what's going to happen. Blood. Hayes thinks he's got the pin, Bill, but Houston was in the ropes. He certainly was in the ropes. Now, Houston back in the corner. And as you mentioned, Sam Houston may be getting behind the curve at this point in time. Well, Michael Hayes started arguing with the referee and saw Sam Houston back to his feet and decided he better go ahead and try to put Sam Houston away instead of argue. It's much better to win your point decisively by getting the fall rather than trying to change the referee's mind. Sam Houston looks like he caught one right on the nose from Michael Hayes. But Sam Houston firing back now. Looks like he's a little on the fed-up side. Houston will ride hands and Hayes stopping that momentum by raking the eyes. Elevation by Sam Houston as Hayes came out of the corner and a drop kick by the Waco, Texas native. Again, that quickness is what makes the difference. Oh, Sunshine tripped him from the outside. I don't think Carl Berger saw that. The fans did. You can hear their reaction. She is really concerned about Michael Hayes not being able to put away young Sam Houston. So she's added her help to the situation. Many people say that's the only reason she's there is to interfere. And one of those people is Dark Journey. Dark Journey, who's been the, the focus of a lot of their efforts. And Dark Journey's trying to tell the referee what happened, but I don't think that's going to have a lot of influence on Carl Fergie. There she is, Dark Journey, who has been adamant about this penalty box situation. She can't wait to get in that penalty box. And they may not, she may not be waiting much longer. She's there at ringside. And here comes a missing link. That's a pretty good insurance policy. That sure is. He's Mike. a wrecking machine. Michael Hayes has decided to get back in the ring as Sam Houston greets him with the elbow. Oh, he leveled him. And the odds are not in the free bird favor. And they don't like it unless it's heavily in their favor. I can guarantee you that. They're, they. They don't think anything about running away to fight another day unless they got everything stacked in their favor. Well, Missy, you've had some experiences with Dark Journey. She's not one easily intimidated, and it looks like the situation has reached the boiling point between her and Sunshine. <laughs> well, you know what? I think it's going to be great for them to both get in the cage because they might get bruised up and battered. I mean, not that it helped hurt their looks any. <laughs> well, there, there's certainly a, some bad blood, as I mentioned, brewing in this situation. The free birds up to their old tricks. Michael Hayes comments, beware of what P.S. had to say. And we'll see Buddy Jack Roberts of the Freebirds family and Chavo Guerrero right after this from the Universal Wrestling Federation.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Power Pro Wrestling. Missy Hyatt and Jim Ross with you from the Cowtown Coliseum. We'll be joined by Eddie Gilbert in a few moments as Buddy Jack Roberts of the Freebirds and Sunshine of the Freebird family make their way to the ring. And now let's hear this from Doyle King. This match features one of the fabulous Freebirds weighing 230 pounds from Bad Street, USA, Freebird Buddy Jack Roberts. Buddy Jack Roberts not getting uh, a rousing hand of applause here, Missy. I wouldn't clap for him either. <laughs> I wonder what kind of family they have. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll have the introduction of Chavo Guerrero, but now here's a look at this week's UWF Top 10. At number 10, Sam Houston. Number nine is Sting. Number eight, The Missing Link. Number seven, Michael P.S. Hayes. Number six, the Iceman King Parsons. Number five, contenderist Chavo Guerrero. Number four, Terry Bam Bam Gordy. Number three, Steve Dr. Death Williams. The number two contender is Ted DiBiase. The number one contender is Savannah Jack the Television Champion. And the one man gang at 500 pounds, the Universal Champion. And his opponent for this match, making his home in El Paso, Texas, weighing 227 pounds, the fabulous Chavo Guerrero. This match is scheduled for one fall. It has a 10-minute time limit. Eddie Gilbert will be joining us, ladies and gentlemen, in just a few moments. Hot stuff Eddie Gilbert and Missy Hyatt, who looks as if will be joining us on a somewhat regular basis here on Power Pro Wrestling. Yeah, but Eddie Jim. Eddie Gilbert's had, a, had his shower, and uh, Missy and Eddie getting situated here as we await. The start of this match, the bell has sounded. Oh, I feel refreshed. Oh, you look refreshed too. Yeah. Eddie Gilbert's back with us, ladies and gentlemen. Eddie, welcome back. I hope the shower was good. Oh, I feel great. I got my Georgie on now. I even got my Gucci watch on that Missy oh, got isn't me. Isn't that cute? Don't you like his watch? But what I was asking you about, Jim, is you said like they're part of that family. Is she the mother or the aunt or, I mean, like, what, I mean, do you know what? Part of the family she is, I a grandmother? Know, I don't think she's, uh, I don't know if she has any relation, but she just had quite a conversation with Buddy Jack Roberts. Is this just started, Jim? Just started, Eddie. You haven't missed a thing. And I'll right. tell you, with all this penalty box situation going on, this match has a lot of importance because there's certainly no love lost between Chavo Guerrero and Buddy Jack Roberts. Well, I'm glad they got that penalty box stuff finally going because I've seen that dark journey and other people interfering in matches, and I'm glad they finally got that so they can put those people in that penalty box. Chavo Guerrero and Buddy Roberts complaining that his hair was pulled. Well, well, I'm sure it was if Buddy says it was. Well, I wouldn't go as far as to say that, but of course, that's why you're here, Ed. That's We're right. glad that you and Missy that's are right. with us. Right, we, we do respect your opinion. Uh, give me a kiss. Chavo Guerrero going right under and a nice move. And Eddie, I tell you, Chavo Guerrero knows I think as many wrestling holes and counters as any man in wrestling. It's hard to keep up with a man like Chavo Guerrero because he's flying all around the ring all the time. He comes from a different background. But he's a second Roberts, generation wrestler. He certainly is. He certainly is. Former high school wrestling coach, former college wrestler, University of Texas at El Paso. Buddy Roberts, a graduate of the School of Hard Knocks, whereas Chavo Guerrero has his sheepskin from UTEP. Well, that's where I think that Buddy Roberts will overcome Chavo Guerrero coming from the school he has. But that was a good move. Buddy wasn't ready for I that I guess one. it was. What, what was that? Wow. If you just joined us, ladies Ooh. and gentlemen, Eddie Gilbert Shoot. and Missy Hyatt with us. Really? Eddie will be giving us some expert color commentary. And this situation. Well, he is stretching him, Jim. Oh, that's good. That'll pull the hamstrings. Ooh, Ooh. I think that hurt. Ooh, that got him all over, Jim. <laughs> Buddy Roberts rolling to the outside in the sanctuary of Sunshine. And Missy asked the question, what relation is she in the family? I think that's kind of a, a figure of speech. I, I think they're just I don't think, they're, I don't the think they're really related. They're just, they just call themselves a family. <laughs> I think that's it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And let's see if... This is where Buddy Roberts is a very smart wrestler. Takes his time outside the ring, takes the count. You know what, but Eddie, you wouldn't have never let Chavo do that to you, would you? Well, <laughs> well. <laughs> now Chavo Guerrero's feeling the wrath of Buddy Roberts. Watch Buddy go now. Buddy's very methodical. 
Doesn't make many mistakes, buddy. Jack Roberts with but, the right hands to Chavo's chest there. But Jimmy's got to get Chavo down, though. He's got to get him down and keep him down. Roberts, that's there a painful go. maneuver right there. It's very hard. I think that was good for Adam's him. Apple. <laughs> Catches the back of the head, too. You saw Chavo grabbing the back of his head. Uh oh. Buddy up to the second rope. Oh, see there? That's what I was talking about. Chavo come with the midsection punch right there. He's back. And well, Roberts raking the eyes. That's a blatant infraction of the rules. Well, no, it, I though. think he was just making sure, you know, his face was okay or something like. You his know. face was okay. Well, you know, he was just, you know, just checking, checking his complexion. Well, it looks like a, a rake of the eyes to me. And in any event, Chavo Guerrero is feeling that punishment. Buddy Roberts, the veteran member of the Freebird Trio. And the crowd here chanting away. We've got a, an excellent crowd here at the Cowtown Coliseum. Chavo Guerrero right behind Eddie. Look at this, look at this, yes. Wow, what a suplex. Could be. Sunshine looks a little concerned. She's worried. <laughs> I would be right now too. There's a spinning back kick. Uh, uh, Chavo Guerrero now dominating uh -oh, Buddy Jack this Roberts. What, this is what he's good at, Jim. You know that. Anything Chavo does off the ropes is great. I have to say that. There's Michael, Michael Hayes. Hayes. Oh, no. Hayes has come to the ring. What's he doing? And Chavo oh, Guerrero Michael. just hit Michael Hayes. And Fergie was counting What's down happening? Hayes. What's happening here now? We've got a disqualification. Hayes come in, came into the ring to help Buddy Roberts. And now they're stomping away at Chavo Guerrero. They know those penalty box matches with Chavo's involvement. They're yeah. gonna try to put him out right here. Yeah, yeah, but to, to Michael Hayes came in because he saw Chavo Guerrero coming off the top rope. Yeah, That's illegal, Yeah, he's not supposed to come off the That's top That's illegal. Row. That's the only reason why he came down. He came down to tell the referee. That's a disqualification. Well, that's an interesting analogy, and I don't I really agree with it, but Chavo Guerrero being oh, punished the by people. the birds. That uh, missing league. Here comes the odd couple. They may be wrestling's odd couple, but they he does have the hardest head in wrestling, and the birds are flying the nest. The penalty box situation is boiling. Boy. And I will be back with Hot Stuff and Missy Hyatt right after this from the Universal Wrestling Federation. If money were no object, anyone could afford to pay $100 for this French rope bracelet. It weighs over 10 grams and is layered entirely in 14 karat gold. And so is this golden nugget bracelet. What would you expect to pay for these two glamorous bracelets? Because you are watching this TV station now, you could own both for just $19.95. And if you're one of the first 1,000 callers, you'll also get these matching neck chains, the French rope plus the heavyweight nugget at no extra cost. You'll get the French rope chain plus bracelet, the golden nugget chain plus bracelet, all layered in genuine 14 karat gold for just $19.95 on our 30-day money-back guarantee. And you'll get this nugget pendant free, even if you return everything else for refund. But you must call quickly. Here's how to order. Two orders and $19.95 plus $3.50 shipping and handling to Designer Chains, Box 20, Department R, Los Angeles, California. Or use your Visa or MasterCard by calling 1-800-826-8880. No COD orders accepted. This is a tag team event. Introducing first to my right, from Devastation Incorporated, along with General Skandor Akbar, the first contestant weighing 280 pounds from Minnesota, Wild Bill Irwin. His tag team partner for this event, Eli. Their opponents for this event, Weighing in at 230 pounds from San Antonio, Texas, Bobby Perez. His tag team partner, The Glass Man. The introductions have been completed here, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Power Pro Wrestling. 
and Eddie Gilbert and Missy Hyatt here at the Cowtown Coliseum as we have an one awesome tag team combination, Wild Bill Irwin and Eli of Devastation Incorporated. You're right about that, Jim. I noticed one thing, though. You know, Wild Bill Irwin and Eli, the Eliminator, they're trying to get a shot at the tag team belts, and, and, and they're really picking a tough tag team, I think, to really get in contention for it. <laughs> well, this is a great tag team, but you know what? I'll tell you what, right now, I'll promise them, won't we, Missy? We'll promise them a tag title shot because we're going to be the champions as soon as possible. We'll give Irwin and Eli a chance at those belts. Uh, what a, well, you got to go through what? Terry Taylor and gentleman Chris Adams, and that should be a great contest. I will say that. Side suplex. Bill. And Bill Irwin's an outstanding athlete. He is. He is. Very good. He's been around a while. He knows what to do. And Eli, Eli the Eliminator, he's one strong man. He was a young free agent that came into the UWF that Akbar signed. Paid him a lot of money, and it has been a good investment thus far. Akbar's a very smart man, Jim. He picks people. and But let me say something about Akbar right now, though. He's a very smart individual. He picks young men that he gives money to, and he gets in his army and everything. But right now, there's one man that's after Akbar that if I was after uh, Akbar a little bit, I'd be a little nervous about, and that's Ted DiBiase with his glove. Well, that's exactly right, and he's been in that army. He has made some of Akbar's money. As Bobby Perez was slammed right in his oh. corner, here comes the glass man. It's not doing too good, though, I don't think, there. Well, yeah, his punches didn't him. seem very effective. Oh, that's a good leap frog back over geez. that big kick of Irwin's. Irwin kicked him right in the face. Man, and he has, all of it. the glass man has been broken. Look at Eli. <laughs> Eli tackled Perez after the match. Akbar's a happy man, Jim, but I'm telling you, you have better watch Ted DiBiase because if I know DiBiase, he could come out of anywhere at any time. That's exactly right. A, w a great victory for Devastation Incorporated, and we'll be back. And when we do, the Universal Heavyweight Championship will be on the line. It'll be gentleman Chris Adams and the one-man gang right after this timeout. Gentleman Chris Adams making his way to the ring. He'll challenge the one-man gang for the heavyweight championship momentarily. Now let's hear the introductions. This event is scheduled for one fall or television time remaining. It is for the Universal Heavyweight Championship title. First, introducing to my right, the challenger and one half of the UWF Tag Team Championships. From England, the gentleman, Chris Adams. Chris Adams will challenge the 500-pound one-man gang. And Adams is going to well, attempt tonight, Eddie, to become the first man in UWF history to hold two major titles simultaneously. But, Jim, why is Terry Taylor at ringside? I think they're the man with a cigar. When he has a license to be there. He's well, a manager. I agree with that, but his interference, I think, has been a, gone a little bit beyond the line. We'll talk about that, but let's hear this. And from Halstead Street, Chicago, six foot nine, weighing at 500 pounds, the UWF heavyweight champion, the One Man Gang. He's accompanied by General Skandor Akbar. He's the Taylor. Yes, you. I'm talking to you, punk. Where's your uh, seconds license? You don't belong out here, boy. So you go back to the dressing room. I don't want you here. You don't want me here? It breaks my heart. I asked Kenny Mantell because this match means so much. He says, if you're here, I'm here. You get rid of him. OK, Akbar, you leave and Terry leaves. That's fair enough, OK? Huh? That's fair. Sounds fair to me. That's fair. Then we really see a title match then. It'd be nice to see some one-on-one -on -one matches, Eddie, if you I'd get like my to drip. See that. I'd like to see that. I think it's OK for anybody to go out there and watch the match. I mean, Eddie, I just want to give him like a cheer side. I don't do anything wrong. 
I couldn't agree anymore. Well, I'm glad that you two are in agreement here. And oh, I guess in my dad, Tommy Gilbert, Mr. Super Referee, is probably going to try to make Skandor Akbar go back to the dressing room when he's got a manager's license. <laughs> well, I don't know if he can accomplish that because Akbar is a, a officially licensed, and he's probably got one of the first manager's license ever issued. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Jim, that was a good one. <laughs> well, he's got a lot of experience. He knows every trick in the book, and. You know, if Akbar's going to stay there, Taylor's not going to interfere, I don't think. Just let him stay and watch the match. Well, well, well. If Akbar doesn't have any tricks up his sleeve, he shouldn't care, right? Wouldn't you think? You're right. You're Does right. that make sense? You're right. You're absolutely right. But we all know the general. Look, I don't really think that one man gang needs any help at all to defeat Chris Adams. Maybe Chris Adams like having guys around him now since he got out of jail and stuff. Well, speaking of guys, look, there is the Iceman and the Iceman with that gift that Adams didn't want, which who could blame him for the look at the shirt? Yeah, well, I don't blame Iceman King Parsons, Jim, the way Chris Adams stabbed him in the back and turned on him. Well, we're trying to get this thing started. The, te the championship, the heavyweight championship match negotiated for the General Skandar Akbar. The contracts are signed and now we're having one heck of a time getting this match started and Iceman King Parsons is taunting Chris Adams and Adams has got a slow boil the jailbird you hear that yeah see hey. I agree with you Jim I'd love to see this one-on-one -on -one match for the title but Iceman King Parsons does have something here he's right about something he should be the tag team champion with Chris Adams but Chris Adams turned on him and picked Terry Taylor as his partner so I'd be I'd feel the same way Iceman King Parsons does Ladies and gentlemen, let's get this thing back together and we'll be back with this heavyweight championship match after this from the UWF. Behold the beer belly. 50 million Americans need a shortcut to get from fat to flat. Introducing the Gut Buster. It's the ultimate fitness machine specifically designed to firm and flatten the stomach as nothing else can. And ladies, if you're as serious as he is, that flat stomach you had in high school can be yours again. Basic spring-ups like these work the upper abdominal region. Reverse for tension-assisted high-risers. This sturdy unit travels easily so you can exercise anywhere. And it's yours with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So go ahead head gut busters if you're serious about a flat stomach exercise your right to call toll free now to order call 1-800-453-3599 that's 1-800-453-3599 use your credit card to avoid cod charges or send check or money order for 1995 plus three dollar shipping and handling to the gut buster box 60 department e los angeles california that toll-free number again is 1-800-453-3599. The Universal Wrestling Federation has started their national tour. We are going all over the country. Some of the great stars you will be seeing include the fabulous Freebirds, Buddy Jack Roberts, Michael P.S. Hayes, and, of course, the lovely Sunshine. And you have some penalty box matches coming up. Hey, man, you don't have to yell in my ear, okay? I'm just standing right here, all right? I can hear. There's no sense in yelling because the UWF is going nationwide. They're going to L.A. They're coming to Chicago, Detroit, Minneapolis, Milwaukee. See, there's no reason to yell. Except Bill Watts screwing up my idea and making a penalty box match that subjects her to have to get in that case. I'm not getting in. I know, I want the same thing to happen that happened last time. You grab that scuzz ball, put her in that cage, but this time you better make her bleed. Oh, there's no problem there, Mike. Are you kidding me? Last time I threw you in, this time I'm going to throw you in, but I'm going to lock the door. And then I'm going to grab you from the outside, and you can't go anywhere. What are you going to do? You can't go anywhere. I'm going to rub your face against the bars a little bit. You want blood? There's no problem there, Michael, because she belongs in a cage. Dogs belong in cages. That's why at the pound they put them in a cage. All right, you just deliver for me. Now, buddy, I want to ask you something, man. Going back to Minneapolis, going back to Detroit, first time UWF, you think we're going to live through it? I mean, I know our opponents won't, but I'm talking about the partying, man. We ain't been to bed in seven days as it is. Hey, I'm not going to bed for another seven days you know <laughs> you know what it's great being a superstar <laughs> don't you wish you were one people no, i mean really look at this group wouldn't you love to say i'm part of that group there's a lot of wrestlers that wish they could say that but you know what you just can't say it because often imitated but never duplicated the sensation of the nation the team that rocks and rolls struts and strolls and we're gonna strut and stroll our stuff all over the USA because the boys that do it right 
And I'm talking about from Bad Street, USA, the Freebirds with Sunshine. We're back now, ladies and gentlemen, to Cowtown Coliseum. The heavyweight championship match is uh -oh. underway. And gentlemen, Chris Adams rocking. is rocking the one-man gang. The gang's in trouble. Look at him come off the mat. Terry Taylor stayed at ringside. He's and down. And the general. And the gang is down. And Adams with a drop kick. Uh-oh, gang's tied on the road, Jim. He's in trouble. He's in trouble. The champion's in trouble. This might be Chris Adams' opportunity to become the first two-time champion in UWF history right now. History could be made on this television program as Chris Adams has the one-man gang tied in the ropes, and he is in a very precarious position. I'm sure he'll get out. I mean, he's a big guy. I mean, I mean, he's. I think he's kind of too big. <laughs> I like muscles. He's 500 pounds. Oh, he's an awesome Whoa. man. The referee should be getting Adams back, though. He's using his fist too much, Jim. I guess you have to use your fist. Oh, he's got the elbow. Back off. Look, could be right here. Right here. One. Oh, no. Oh. The gang powered out. Close. And Adams, who at 233 is a good-sized man, looked awfully small on the again. gang. He's back on him. Wow. Powering out again. Oh, he's an awesome man. And Adams with that super kick, and that is the equalizer, the if ultimate if equalizer. It. If he ever gets it, Jim, we'll see a new champion. Look at that. I can't believe he got be again. I just can't believe he got him off his feet. Yeah. I can't believe that the a man like Chris Adams. barely getting out of this. I can't believe this. I've never seen the game this down or something. I don't know what it is. I tell you what, Akbar may be worried a whole lot about Ted DiBiase, and rightfully so. I don't know what kind yes. of game plan they have, but I thought that the game would have the upper hand because of the Iceman's interference right. and this breaking the train of thought of Chris Adams. Exactly right. Here goes Adams to get off the second rope. Oh, wow. Smart move by the champion. Smart move. Adams is down now. Now if Gang will get on him. Gang's slow because Adams has been on him. As long as Terry Taylor doesn't interfere. I don't think we have to worry about Terry Taylor interfering. I think the gang ought to just sit on him or something. I know that'd hurt me You'd if probably beat sit him that on way. me. Hammering down at six feet nine. Wow. 500 pounds. The people are starting to chant again, Jim. That could help Adams a lot. Go, Chris, go. This tremendous crowd here at the Cowtown Coliseum. This is the city. They're saying stomp on him, stomp on him. Isn't that what they're saying? <laughs> they want him to squish him like a bug, that Chris Ooh. Adams is. <laughs> Just that missing. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Come on. Did you see that? Oh. My dad, Tommy Gilbert, made a slow count. Really? Well, he's getting slow, Eddie. You I thought that. this was going to be a fair title match. Ah. Now look at Gang taught him, telling Adams to get up, get up. I'm just glad. To I'm just glad Tommy Gilbert doesn't referee some of your matches. Oh. You well, I'm no sure he problems. feels the same way as far as that's concerned. And Chris Adams he's is feeling something right on. now. There's a good shot of Dennis Brent there in the corner of the camera, or the corner of the screen, rather. Just all, a matter of time, Pro Jim. Wrestling Magazine. It's a matter of time. Adams looks like he's about gone. Taylor. That's it, Taylor. Aww. Cry. <laughs> I want to see some tears. Perry Taylor trying to get his partner's attention to get out of the corner, Chris. And the gang with all that mass and that weight just moving the ring around. Very smart man. You're not kidding. I saw the ring move. Universal Wrestling Federation on its way to Atlanta and the beautiful Omni. Also coming to some other great cities like El Paso, Texas, St. Louis, Kansas City, New Orleans, Dallas, Texas. Yeah, UW and the royal couple of the UWF will be there too. <laughs> and I am the joint, the royal couple. I and love we're Atlanta. Oh, oh, look at that, look at that. Oh, great reversal by Adams and that drop kick. Adams is using every Everything he's got in oh. there was a was that a, uh -oh. a super kick? It was a drop kick, but he's setting himself. And there's oh. that kick. He's off his feet. He's off his feet, Jim. He's there's the super feet. kick. The people sense something here. The people sense it. Listen to him. We're just he's about out of time Chris here. Akbar put his foot on the rope. Adams, Chris Adams had the gang beat, and Akbar put his now. foot on the rope. No, let's not say that. No, no, I think 
like he, he was trying, he was getting his foot over there in the first place, and he was his foot, you know, he was just making sure it got on there properly. You're exactly you know, right. just to make sure it was, you know. We're just about out of time, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, come on. I think Adams had a game beat. I want to see a winner. I want to see a winner. Come on. Adams fighting the gang. Chris Adams on a roll. Yes, we may good. see history made right here on Power Pro Wrestling tonight for Eddie Gilbert and Missy Hyatt. I'm Jim Ross. We'll see you next week right here on Power Pro Wrestling. the bad street tag situation i can't say that i will disagree with them on that point now ladies and gentlemen here next week on the program we'll be back with you from the cowtown coliseum and the metroplex coming to you from the fort worth stockyards it should be an exciting hour we think you've seen an exciting hour here this week we'll address the iceman king parsons and savannah jack situation in a little more depth here next week we'll also see general skandar akbar's devastation incorporated in action we'll see hot stuff and hyatt international we'll also see the Freebirds and many other top stars right here next week on power pro wrestling thank you very much for being with us i'm jim ross i hope you have a great week and so long everybody